season two of the Pat and JT podcast. Oh my, now I'm here at last. The best time, always gonna be the best to come out. Exclusively on the Herd App Media Network. Like we always say, uh, you can slide into our DMs. Um, it's Pat and JT, Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Or you can text us at 402-403-9478. Um, this one uh, coming to us uh, kind of in response to what we talked about pooping at somebody else's house last week. We talk about that a lot. <laughs> oh, wait. You put a poll up, too, on yep, Twitter. Yep, looking at it right now. The uh, we, the option was, uh, do you, well, first of all, the question was, do you think it is acceptable to poop at someone else's house? The options, yes, no, or only in an emergency. After thinking about this, I should have just said yes or no. The only in an emergency, it's like, well, if it's an emergency, it's either that or you do it on the floor, you know? So right. <laughs> that shouldn't have been an option because that one won 59%. Um, yeah. Otherwise, only 4% of people said no, which kind of surprised me because I would have been in that. No, it's not acceptable to poop at somebody else's house. Like, See, I think maybe we could have rephrased it to um, would you? Just, just would you? Would you? And have you? Maybe two questions. Yeah, I have. Therefore, I won't anymore. It was not <laughs> – just not going to do it. So, yeah. So, that um, yeah. Uh, hundreds and hundreds of votes on that one. It came down to 4% awesome. of people said no are in my camp on that. So, we found everybody's wheelhouse. <clears throat> we did. Yeah, we did find their wheelhouse. <laughs> a lot of emergencies. Like, if it's an emergency, you're, there's a lot on the table if, some, if it's an emergency. Just in general. <laughs> but, Could yeah. Be. Literally on the table. Uh, but then this text okay. is from De- uh, Janelle M. It's, and I like how she led with her name. I have to scan through and get to the bottom of the email or anything or the text. Um, nice. To 402-403-9478. Um, I just paused episode 253 to give my two cents on to poo or not to poo at a social event. She said, we, <laughs> we were having a nice, fairly large gathering, annual spring wine fling, a few years ago. It was centralized in the downstairs part of the house, which includes a bathroom. There are also two more bathrooms upstairs, I should mention. After all of our guests were gone and we were cleaning up, I discovered that not only had someone decided to poop emoji, they clogged the toilet, all caps. <gasps> not one person there ever said a word or pulled us aside to ask if they, <laughs> if they could use another one or more private pot, which would have been perfectly fine. I mean, hey, it happens. Instead, they literally crapped and ran. Who does that? <laughs> it says although it was a fairly good sized gathering gathering I'm glad you said gathering gathering I yeah. had my group of potential suspects with that's crazy though you know if you have a bathroom that's close to the activity you just don't use that one no no not at all you you default that's what I mean especially if it's a big party go, there's a chance that yeah. all the bathrooms are going to be close to activity the, the thing is, is you don't want to do that and have somebody waiting to go in right after you because then you can't push the blame off on anybody else it's like, it's your filth. <laughs> so she said, with copious hours of Dateline, 48 hours, et cetera, viewing time, I nabbed the crapping bandit in no time flat. Uh, she goes, can That's you believe funny. that shit? Literally. <laughs> Thanks for letting me vent. Yeah, that, uh, but, but in, there, in the clogger's defense, if you're, mm-hmm. if you're one of those where you get your business done and then you, fl- you close the seat, which you should, before you flush, and you flush, maybe right. they didn't realize that it was clogged. Like, you should know that, but maybe they didn't realize it's possible. I think that you know when you reach capacity. Right. And you know if your flush it reaches completion. <laughs> like, you know, you, you, you have that, you know, if it doesn't do that, yeah. you know that something's up. Or, That's yeah. just awful. <laughs> Absolutely awful. So uh, 402-403-9478. Love getting your guys' texts. All right. So we still have um, some lists to go through from 2020. Okay. And I'm going to tell you, if I sound funny when I'm talking, it's because I have such an echo and I, I can't take my headphones off because then I can't hear right. Pat. You, you don't, sound, you don't um, sound funny at all. Okay, so I'm not, you know, like when you're, when you're talking on a microphone in an open area and you have that echo that follows everything you say, yeah. it tends to make you start talking slower because you're trying to match your mouth with the words. Yeah, well, we'll just assume <laughs> since you're working at home and taking your meetings at home this afternoon, you've probably been drinking. So we'll just accept that. That's safe. Right. That's good. Safe. Okay. All right, so on our list, uh, other things that we can take a look at. Uh, definitions is in here also definitions of just in general make. just definitions of things definitions you want to go Let's run do through definitions. that real quick yeah uh, top five number five is asymptomatic oh man okay 
everybody looking that up to find out exactly what that means when they came out and said, hey, if you're asymptomatic, that mean, can you, can you not spread? Yes, good one. COVID, yep. right? Uh, pandemic, a lot of people looking that yeah. up. Uh, pandemic, epidemic, finding the differences and, and what for okay. us. Uh, antebellum came up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I... Remember, they are now Lady yep. A. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Entanglement. Entanglement. That goes back to um, Jada Pinkett. Oh, when she had entanglement. her entanglement that's right. with the young man half her age. Yeah, okay, that's right. And Will said, well, that's cool. We're staying together. Yeah, because <laughs> she, would, I think, would legit kill him. She scares me. <laughs> I do too. She scares me to death. <laughs> she does. Yeah. I have to wonder sometimes you know, when you see him being so <clears throat> attentive and fawning over her, and I'm thinking, oh, Absolutely she's terrifying. got him in her purse. Yes. <laughs> All right, and unfortunately, number one definition that was Googled in 2020 is WAP. Oh, man. Now, is that WAP or WAP? What's WAP? 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 I... WAP, WAP. Does it no, matter? it doesn't matter because we all know what that – and I that was Googled on my phone a couple of times. Once for me to figure out exactly what it was and the second to show my mom <laughs> and told her not to let the kids listen to that music. <laughs> What did she say? Uh, I don't even remember. I and actually, I don't think it was my mom. It was, I it was Beth. Although Beth already knew, but I showed her anyway. And then, yeah, my mom would never. If yeah. my mom heard one of those words at all, it would have been like ejected. Kids would have been pushed out of the car. Absolutely over. Absolutely filthy yeah. song. Um, see, and I'm I am so behind on things because right up. Uh, this also led the led the charge um, under googling under lyrics as well, not just definition, but yeah. Uh, lyrics, and I don't know, I know one of these, well, I know that song, I guess I should say, but uh, number two was The Box. Okay. Number three is Godzilla. Okay, yeah. Number four is Gooba. <clears throat> and uh, number five is Break My Stride. Yeah. What? Like OG Break My Stride, or is there a new Break My Stride? I, I don't know. See, this now, I'm looking up, Gooba was in April of last year, May. I don't have the lyrics in front of me, so I can't tell you. Well, you know, okay, <laughs> so like, means, if you want to, and Google I know that, that real quick. wap wap whatever. Oh, was it gooba? Gooba. Okay. I know we we got to sound like absolute, absolute clowns. How do you right spell now. that? G o o b a. G o o b a. Gooba. Oh, it's a song by yeah, it's a song by um, six mm-hmm. six nine. Gooba. Oh, yeah, six yeah. nine. Um, I do know who that is. Okay, well, we're look. I don't want. I don't do not want the official lyrics video. But yeah, I, yeah, it's been. It's. Oh yeah, literally the third word I can't say. So, and then they're talking <laughs> about this person writing things. Yeah, and twin sisters. And I'm only two lines in, so oh. we'll just go ahead and let that ride. We'll go. We'll leave that. Uh, Break my stride came. That was in June. No, January. I'm sorry, January last okay. year, January nineteenth. Um, and it looks like it's some something from TikTok. Okay, actually. yeah. And it is eighties. It is OG. I think it is OG, okay. but somebody will correct us if we are wrong, just like they yelled Kyle at the right. radio. Kyle Peterson. I know. Sorry. <laughs> Heidi was driving her nuts, too. Uh, you know, I remember <laughs> even though WAP is an absolutely filthy song, I, it's looking back to when it was, gosh, 20 years ago, whatever. I don't even remember who sang the song called My Neck, My Back. You remember that song? Yep. My Neck, My yep. Back, My Blank, and My Crack. It's like, what? That and. Uh, at then we we were younger, so it's like, well, I mean, this is a little sketch, but hey, this is a great song. I love it. I would be just absolutely appalled. I mean, now looking, at, that's tame. <laughs> well, the funny part is, is up until I, think <clears throat> I remember early two thousands. Um, God, I can't remember his name, and it was somebody whose song. All of a sudden, I, re- I figured out what his song was about. Oh God, you're going to remember this. I know you will. Um, Oh, this is going to drive if me you, crazy. I can't remember the name of the song. But I figured out what the song was yeah, about. And it was rough. And I was like, like wait, oh. what? Because I never paid attention that much to the lyrics. I really never did. I was never that person. Yeah. I knew the words, but I really didn't put them all together. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, and, and I, that's why I, I would not be a good artist, because there are some songs that's like, this is a great song. This lines mean nothing to me, but it means 
something. It's like, holy, like cake by the ocean. I had no clue that meant ha- intercourse on the beach, right? I had no clue. And but that's what Jonah wrote. <laughs> but then, um, oh, I was, it had another song in my head. It, oh, Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles. That is about mm. conolingus. I didn't know that. Oh, you know, you oh, would never, you would never think by listening, like, hey, it's about a delicious, refreshing summer beverage. No. Nope. What? Okay. What's the name of the guy that used to? I think he was with Kid Rock, and then he broke off. Oh, Uncle Cracker. And did his own thing. Uncle Cracker uh-huh. song. Yep. That was the one. Follow that I'm talking me. Yeah. About. Yep. Follow yes. me. That's yep. the one that I realized what it was about, and that's not even Dirty bad. Bird. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like that's right. That's pretty. I was just appalled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are a home wrecker. Jesus, dude. <laughs> right. I was like, what? Wait. What are yeah, you talking exactly. about? Yeah. Exactly. All right, so let's see here. Um, uh, instead of another list here right now, I do have a short one. Well, it's not real short, but we can maybe blow through this here. It's kind of interesting. I, I ran across, what, what it came down to is I ran across an article about the number of people who were passed or who passed on a part in a movie. Okay. The movie was The Matrix. Oh, as like Neo as the main so or any part? Right, as okay. Neo. And so this <clears throat> explains how we ended up with who we did. Okay. He wasn't the first choice. I love when this stuff um, happens. You can't of, imagine Neo being anybody else. Like no. I've seen these and, videos on people who auditioned for and passed up on the role of Michael Scott for The Office. And like, you've got to be kidding me. Steve Carell's perfect. I can't imagine it with blah, blah, blah. Can't even yeah. imagine. And the two that stood out to me was Will Smith, right. which probably oh, would have been, been phenomenal. Awesome. And Sandra Bullock. Ooh, girl Neo. They were going to do a female Neo if she would. That would have been awesome too. Both, I just got gooseies. That would have been uh, that would have been pretty awesome. Either one of them. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Another one that was kind of interesting was Gwyneth Paltrow was the number one choice for Titanic. Oh, really? But Kate Winslet took it, as you know. And then Kate Winslet was offered Shakespeare in mm-hmm. Love right after Titanic, and she turned it down. And Gwyneth Paltrow took that. Wow, that's interesting. I could have seen Gwyneth Paltrow about, in, in Titanic. That wouldn't have been yeah. bad. I could yeah. see that too. I can see that. Some of them were, and Claire Danes was another one offered Titanic. Can't yeah, see that. Yeah, me either. That doesn't work for me at all. Um, Woody Harrelson, Jerry Maguire. Uh, no way. Two, no. Mm-mm. As in the Tom Cruise part or, okay, mm-hmm. no way. Mm-hmm. And Halle Berry, we were just talking about, she was actually, speaking of Sandra Bullock, she was offered speed. Who was Halle Berry? Halle Who, Berry. That would have been pretty awesome, but Sandra Bullock was was perfect it, uh, she was perfect but Halle Berry would have been pretty legit too without a doubt yeah uh how about Julia Roberts in the blind side Ooh, that would have been pretty good and I love Sandra so Roberts do I that. but yeah that would have been pretty good too and then the real kicker broke back mountain remember that was really controversial when that yeah, came out great movie though um before they landed on the lead actors Leonardo DiCaprio, Matt Damon, Ryan Felipe, and Brad Pitt all turned their broke back on it. Oh, and uh, really? <laughs> and and said no. Wow, that surprises me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love these kind of lists. When you, um, when you when you first brought that up, I thought you meant they were going to make it like four cowboys at a time. It was just those were just oh, the characters no. at Pat. Okay, I'm like, wow, that'd have been a totally different <laughs> vibe. <laughs> What's going on in there, boys? Yeah. Yeah, right? What's in the What's bunkhouse? In the bunkhouse? Why is everybody coming out of there smiling? There's all four of you in there. What's up? <laughs> Bunk beds. Uh, yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> I, I, bed I do mountain. love that movie, though. That's a really good movie. I yeah. do, too. I do, too. I'll leave you with one more. Um, actually, oh, did, yeah, one more. This is a TV okay. show. If you can imagine Macaulay Culkin... In the lead of Big Bang Theory. No way. Uh-uh. Not a chance. He, he said it sounded way too nerdy and dorky. There's no way it would ever work. Oh, I'm sure that's a big regret for him. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's a, that's pretty crazy. He's a... That would have been... I, I can't even imagine him in, in that role. Nope. Yeah. Me neither. Those are good ones. I think the only other one on here was Gloria Estefan. <gasps> Got two, three for you. Gloria Estefan, Mystic Pizza. Okay. Julia Roberts. Jessica Simpson for The Notebook. Uh, she no, passed. thank God. I'm glad too. Um, and finally, Michelle Pfeiffer in Silence of the That would have been pretty, uh, that would have been pretty awesome, but Jodie Foster's legit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah those cool. are, yeah. But yeah, that stuff happens all the time. You just never know. But. And, and I, I, gosh, I don't know if I could forgive myself on some of these if I passed on a role and it became super huge. You know, like Macaulay mm-hmm. Culkin right there. I would be totally, seriously. Be just, yeah, I'd be devastated. And those guys are just, they're, they're rocking their nerd 
and became wildly popular. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. So, all right. I go. love, I, I love the list. Um, all right. So, you guys, huh? text. You can email us, hey, at patentjt.com. Text us, 402-403-9478. Um, or in our DMs anywhere, it's Pat and JT. Thank you guys for listening. Make sure you rate and review and share Podcast, a Huda Media Production.